Hey everyone, Anna Kruger here with Sparking Progress. And today we're gonna to talk about how to build trust with yourself and do things that might be a little hard to do. All right, well, I had an inspiring coaching call with a client earlier today, and I thought I would bring that content to you because I personally was encouraged and I hope it encourages you as well. But last week with this coaching client, we talked about how to build trust with yourself. My coach told me that one way to build trust with yourself is simply to do the things that you said you would do, keep your promises. So for example, just something simple, if I say I'm gonna unload the dishwasher on my lunch break, actually unloading the dishwasher on my lunch break starts to build trust with myself that I do the things I say I'm gonna do. Have you ever told yourself, I'm gonna go do something, but in the back of your mind, you're like, mm, I know me, I may or may not do it. That's kind of what we're talking about here. So starting to keep promises with yourself is one step in the right direction to building confidence with yourself. I do have some hacks for you though that will help you get moving. So one of those would be following what Mel Robbins taught us at Family Reunion. Is she had this great little hack that when there's something that you're kind of questioning, am I gonna do it? I don't really wanna do it. Start counting backwards. Go five, four, three, two, one. And when you get to one, get up and get into action. The second step that I would recommend is setting a two minute timer. When you set a two minute timer, basically you're committing, I'm gonna do this activity for just two minutes. I'm not committing to any longer than that. I'm just gonna do this for two minutes. But what we know from science is that when you start getting into the right action, many times you're gonna to wanna to keep going after the two minutes because your body is gonna to start to release dopamine. Dopamine increases motivation and drive to keep going. So for example, if you just do something for two minutes, the likelihood you'll keep doing it significantly increases after the two minute mark. So if there's something that you wanna do that you're just kind of dragging your feet, not wanting to do it, I challenge you to build trust by keeping that promise to yourself. And your two hacks are count backwards, five, four, three, two, one, and get into action, and then set that two minute timer. I do wanna share with you one quick little example that's helped me in my own personal life. Maybe this will encourage you too. So I recently switched gyms and I don't know why this is. I've gone to the gym for about 10 years now. And for whatever reason, switching gyms was really freaking me out about going to this new gym. I felt intimidated and I don't know why, that's not my normal personality. But for whatever reason, I was feeling really intimidated about going to this new gym. Well, my coach challenged me, he said, what would be something that would help you take at least a small step in the right direction? And I said, as silly as it sounds, I think if I just drove to the gym, walked around and saw where the equipment was situated, checked out the locker room, what that looked like, and just kind of got the lay of the land. I think if I just commit to doing just that, not even working out, just going and seeing what it looks like, that would help me feel a lot better and at least get moving here. So that's what I did. I committed to going to the gym and I did that. I walked in, saw the layout of the equipment, made sure it had the machines that I was really looking for, went and laid on the hydro bed and left. I didn't work out at all. I just went, checked it out, did the hydro bed and left. However, since then, because of that small first step, I've now been more consistent going to the gym in the morning and building that habit back into place. So if you have something that's just feeling tough for you, maybe you don't wanna do it, use the methods I taught earlier in this video. And I would encourage you to ask yourself, what is just one small step? Uh, the client that I referenced earlier in this call also was having a hard time going to the gym. And he made a commitment to himself that on lunch, he was just gonna go by, do the same thing, check out the layout and see what it looks like. He said when he pulled in the parking lot before he even got out of the car, he said, I felt in my body like I had arrived to a sporting event. My energy went up and I felt really good. I felt proud of myself and I hadn't even walked in yet. He walked in, got the lay of the land and then left. That's all he did. But he told me, he said the dopamine, because we've been talking about this, he understood the dopamine feeling he got, he did start to feel increased motivation and excitement about going to the gym. So whatever it is, no matter how small the step is, what can you do to put yourself moving in the right direction towards the goal that you have and start to build that confidence with yourself that you do keep the promises you make to yourself. All right, I'll catch you in the next video.